All right, guys, so first time trying to ride the Moto Guzzi. If you've watched the series, basically, I am borrowing this from a friend who's letting me take advantage of him being out of town to ride his bike, which is a pretty sweet deal. So, first time taking it out for a little test ride. You can really feel like this like side to side wobble. Let's see how I like the thing. Man, so when I put it in first gear, I, I don't even feel like a drop down. I don't even feel like I'm in first really because I let the clutch out and it's not, it should stall if I let go. No. So it's not showing neutral, but I'm also not holding the clutch and it's not stalling. So, okay, we're off to a rough start. Neutral again. Okay, it's not taking off on me. Drop down. It's not going <laughs> in gear. Oh, there we go. So now for some reason it's in gear. Okay. So now I'm in neutral. I'm just gonna let it idle down the hill so it can warm up a little bit. Okay, now I felt a click. Now I felt a real, you have shifted into first gear, congratulations click. Turn signal seems okay. All right, it's got some pep. Now, sometimes you guys ask, why do I ride through the cemetery? And honestly, it's because the cemetery has a lot of curves, uphill, downhill, etc. Um, without stop signs and uh, without all the traffic that inner city riding has. I'm in Toronto, which is the most densely populated city in Canada. It's like our LA or New York in terms of population density. All right, well, the brakes work. This lever is kind of bent way out there, but it's working. Nice torque for uphills. Handles pretty well. Turn signal right where it should be. Brakes feel good. Downs shift smooth. Clutch out nice. All right. So I tried to find a different hilly, turny area, but problem with inner city riding is uh, it always goes to a grid-like formation, and that's about 95% of the city where I live. So, let's try and find another way around. Bike sounds alright. I think these pipes are stock. Hopefully you guys can hear them. Kind of like that little drone when, you, when you're decelerating. You know what? I can already feel letting the clutch out. I think now that she's a little bit warmer, it does feel a little better. Let's try going this way. Now here I have a nice downhill slope, but I feel like I'm going to get this old lady in front of me. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No signals, just going. Okay. Yeah, no signals, just going. We'll take the next downhill. I used to kiss a girl over here who had bad breath when I was a teenager. Fun fact for the day. If there's any young guys watching this, you gotta have better standards than what I did, please. I can feel which side the shaft is on. Like, <laughs> um, my left side feels lighter. Does that make sense? My right back wheel? I think that's where the shaft is. I kind of want to take a look. I feel like the shaft on this bike is on the it's on the right back side, and uh, I don't know if a beginner rider would tell, um, but I can kind of pick up on it a touch. Now on this bike, we know that um, it does leak. Suspension's a little stiff. Um, it does leak out of both headers on both sides of the motor. 
which it only has 30,000 kilometers on it, so it's not great. My friend has warned me, he was like, wear pants that you don't like when you ride this bike. I forgot to take his advice, so oops. Handles really nice. One of my favorite bikes to ride ever was a Suzuki Boulevard M50, and um, that was shaft drive. I put tons of kilometers on that. But I guess because the, the shaft was further behind you, um, you almost felt a little bit more removed from it. Very electronic sounds coming from the bike. We'll leave it in neutral as we coast down here, just out of respect, because it looks like someone's actually stopped to visit someone. Mostly it's just dog walkers and joggers who come through here. Bike's got a nice calm idle, just under 1500 RPMs. I think what I want to know by the time I give this bike back is would I actually buy one? Um, do I actually think it's worth the price that you have to pay to get a bike that isn't necessarily the most sophisticated, the most smooth? I say that and I'm like bumbling forward. <laughs> um, obviously you're getting it for the aesthetic, for the vintage look and charm. It does actually have good fucking balls for it. <laughs> Uh, I just don't know if, if it's for me just yet. So I think that's where we're going to end the first video. Testing this thing out. What the f***? Jesus Christ. I can't get my kickstand down. Seriously? <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm gonna keep this bike. <laughs>